Hello everyone, this is Marvel Oblivion 13 here, yet with another tutorial. This time it is on the dolphin known as the GameCube emulator. Not the actual dolphin, but those dolphins are pretty cute too. But that's besides the point of this tutorial now. You know, I wish sometimes we could talk about dolphins. But oh well, we'll take care of that at another point. Okay, for this emulator we're going to need to download, which you want to click on this here button. I already pre-planned this, so this shouldn't be a problem. After you click that, you would get a thing that looks like this. You get like, I mean, you get like a zip file that looks like that. Okay, then you want to right click and then you want to go to extract files and put it into any folder that you want. But for this tutorial, I have put the GameCube emulator onto a folder that says GameCube. Which I already extracted the files and put them here. Okay, this is what it looks like if you extract the files then that means that the emulator is going to be saved onto your PC which is a good thing so you don't need to do the whole thing reconfiguring the emulator over and over and over again okay this is what it looks like if you don't extract them see Looks like that. You really don't want that. You just need to extract it and then everything will be fine. Okay, click the X button, then you want to go to here. Sometimes your Windows thing saying that this program is not safe and so on and so on. Which I was like, I don't have that kind of problem. My antivirus will pick it up at any time. Oh, well, that's strange. Oh, I wonder why is it not coming up? Oh. Huh. Oh, well, I'll just... I'll just re-extract it again, except for in a different folder. There we go. There we go. Now that I got the emulator extracted and put into a folder, we just got to wait a bit until the extracting gets done. Which is right now. Okay, then you want to go to here. Okay, hopefully this one will work. Okay, this one right here is saying that your Windows smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. I already, I already know it's safe. I used this emulator a long time ago. So I uh, hopefully it's still going to be the same way. Yeah, now my antivirus picked it up. I know it's safe. Run it anyway. Okay. And here is the emulator. Okay, and then we want to go to configurations just in case. Oh, I should really configure my my pad. Um, let's see here. Should be here. Here we go. Let's see. This is A. That's B. That's X. And this is Y. This will be Z. And this will be start. Okay, then the main stick. Up, down, left, right, 
modifier, I think of the click button, there we go. Okay, so this one over here is C stick, which is the other analog stick, which would be this one. There we go. Almost there. Okay, and click that button again. Okay. Okay, after you get done configuring your controls, you want to go to save. Oh, I have to go and enter my profile name. I'll name this one search. There you go. You want to save it. And there you go. So it'll be already be saved just in case something happens. Okay. Then click OK. Graphics and stuff should be fine the way it is. Alright, now then, let's go ahead and open this thing up. And here we go. Again, sorry if you're not hearing anything. I did say in the other tutorials I did that the, rec that the program that I'm using does not exactly record sound. Perhaps I should do playthroughs or walkthroughs and stuff on on these kind of games with sound by using fraps. All right. Okay, either way, the emulator seems to be working. And you can see a little message up there saying that it, that the emulator's memory card has been saved under a path, which should be the same path as where I, where I put the emulator in. Other than that, everything looks A-OK. -okay. Still getting good FPS, and the graphics look pretty. Kind of reminds me of the days when I first got a, first got a GameCube. Okay, and here you go. Oh yeah, get that Luigi. Okay. This is Mario Oblivion 13 signing off. Have a nice day.